Welcome to the Iris 12 DDA Leather Care Guide Series. This time, Iris will explain the history of synthetic leather. Iris will explain the example of World War II, when synthetic leather was first used in earnest. Let's continue our synthetic leather journey. Before synthetic leather appeared in fashion, it first demonstrated its practicality in war and industrial settings. For example, in the United States and Europe, polyvinyl chloride began to be used for military and vehicle seats in the 1940s. In Germany and the United Kingdom, it is called Rexine. In the Soviet Union, Kirsa, and in the United States, Nitak. In the 1920s, after World War I, in the United Kingdom and Germany, an early synthetic leather was developed by applying a nitrocellulose coating to cotton fabric called Rexine and was used for seats and waterproof covers for military trucks and tanks. It is highly water resistant and durable and has a texture similar to genuine leather at a low cost. In the Soviet Union, a cheap, waterproof synthetic leather called Kirza was developed in the late 1930s. It was made by applying a petroleum-based synthetic resin called bitumen to cotton cloth. With the outbreak of the German-Soviet War in 1941, it was mass-produced throughout the Soviet Union and used for soldiers' military boots, belts, and equipment, supporting the Soviet Union during World War II. It was also widely used in the communist bloc after the war. Invented by Mikhail Ivanovich Pomortsev and mass-produced by Ivan Vasilyevich Plotnikov, this material was highly valued for providing footwear for a large number of soldiers, even when real leather was difficult to obtain under the German invasion. It had a wide range of uses and was used for military boots, belts, and general military supplies. It was cheap, could be mass-produced, was highly waterproof, and had a long service life. According to Major Lenth, a military expert, military supplies made from Kyrza that were around 60 years old can still be used if they are in good condition. It's surprising, isn't it? In the United States, synthetic leather called NITAC was developed by the United States Rubber Company in 1936. The material is a laminated structure of polyvinyl chloride and fabric. It was used for military vehicle seats, waterproof covers, hospital beds, etc. Its characteristics are flexibility, antibacterial, waterproof, and easy to clean. It is a synthetic leather that supported the automobile industry and medical sites. And as a representative of PVC-based synthetic leather, its uses expanded during and after the war. Next, we will talk about the history of synthetic leather's penetration into post-war fashion. In this episode, we talked about examples of its use during World War II, when synthetic leather Under saw an explosive increase in use. It was used for truck seats, waterproof covers, boots and equipment, and its use spread widely. Did you enjoy it? In the next episode, we'll trace the history of how PU leather and PVC leather penetrated the world of post-war fashion. If you thought this video was helpful, then please subscribe to our channel and give it a high rating. I'm sure you will.